All right, FAQ number 44. Was Jesus guilty of calling people fools? Let's look about that. Matthew chapter 23, verse 17 says, Ye fools and blind, for whether is greater the gold or the temple that sanctifieth the gold. Verse 19, Ye fools and blind, for whether is greater the gift or the altar that sanctifieth the gift. So there we have two. We're not going to go through the whole chapter, but we have two there. Times where Jesus definitely called the Pharisees, the scribes and things, these you know, uh, religious leaders at the time, these corrupt religious leaders, he called them fools. Let me show you the contention that people bring up. Matthew chapter 5, verse 22 says, But I say unto you that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment. And whosoever shall say to his brother, Rekha, shall be in danger of the council. But whosoever shall say, Thou fool, shall be in danger of hellfire. Now, the thing there is people say, well, Jesus called people fools, therefore he's in danger of hellfire. But you see a special little clause there. It says, without a cause. All right. Did Jesus have cause to attack the scribes and Pharisees? Yes. They were trying to act like they were God's men and they were damning people to hell through religious traditions, much like the Catholics do today. All right. You know, they had no conscience, basically, and they were destroying people and, you know, committing adultery and things and doing all kinds of wicked sins and, and everything else and pretending that God was for all of that. That's why the Lord Jesus Christ was so hard on them. But verse 22 here clearly says in the King James Bible, without a cause. Now, a lot of the new versions, and you can research this on your own time, a lot of the new versions will remove that, those three words, without a cause. So the new versions actually have a verse that condemns Jesus Christ and makes him a sinner. I wonder who would be behind something like that. I mean, do you think the Holy Spirit's going to inspire a new Bible version that's easier to understand and clearer, and yet it condemns Jesus Christ to hell? Hmm. Yeah, how about that? So uh, Jesus Christ was not guilty of doing something bad. He did call people fools, but he had a cause for calling them fools. And by the way, just in case you say, well, that was Jesus. And uh, as Christians, we should never call people fools because that's just, that's a serious thing. Well, let's look about that. Galatians chapter, let's see where it is here. Let me find it here for a minute. Chapter 3, Galatians chapter 3, verse 1. O foolish Galatians, who hath bewitched you that ye should not obey the truth, before whose eyes Jesus Christ hath been evidently set forth, crucified among you? Verse 3, are ye so foolish? So Paul uses the term as well. And ironically, you go back here to the Old Testament. Psalm 53, verse 1, The fool hath said in his heart, There is no God. Corrupt are they. They have done abominable iniquity. There is none that doeth good. So I guess by the new version philosophy of, of removing without a cause uh, from Matthew chapter 5, verse 22, I guess really you shouldn't call an atheist a fool. You probably shouldn't quote Matthew, or, uh, Psalm 53, verse 1 to an atheist because that's calling somebody a fool. You know, see? See the problem you get into when you use these satanic new versions like the NIV and some of these others, you know, some of these new versions that remove that clause there without a cause in Matthew 5.22. What a mess.